For more videos visit for the sake of education.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have an 800 pound cylinder and it's supported by three chains as shown. Find the force in each chain for an equilibrium, take D is equal to one foot. So the first thing you want to do in this problem is find all the points involved. A is at 0 in the i plus 0 in the j minus 1 in the k since d is 1 foot. B is at minus sine of 45 in the i plus cosine of 45 in the j plus 0 in the k which is equal to negative 0 0.707 in the i plus 0 0.707 in the j plus 0 in the k. C sets at 1 in the i plus 0 in the j plus 0 in the k and D sits at 0 in the i minus 1 in the j plus 0 in the k. So you know that the sum of the forces in the C is equal to 0. So that means that the weight of the crate minus 800 pounds at A you got the weight of the crate which is 800 pounds and then you got these three forces going up so one force let's say force AC is equal to AC cosine of 45 degrees now where did I get this 45 degrees from as you can see each of these chains with the C axis forms a triangle. Let, let's take for example chain AC. They tell you that the length D is one foot. So you got chain this is side AC. And this length right here is one foot because the radius of this ring right here is given right here to be one foot. So if the adjacent is 1 and the opposite is 1, this angle, let's call it theta, is equal to 45 degrees because this is 1 and this is 1, so that's perfectly 45 degrees. So that's where we got this AC cosine of 45 degrees. Each of the triangles formed is the same thing, it's the same triangle. So you got AC cosine of 45 plus AB cosine of 45 plus AD cosine of 45 is equal to zero. So in conclusion 0 0.707 AC plus 0 0.707 AB plus 0 0.707 AD is equal to 800. Then you know that the sum of the forces in the x direction is equal to zero. As you can see, D has no magnitude in the x direction. So this is all about AC and AB. Therefore, what you need to do is you need to find the univector AB so you can find the x and y components easier. So to find a univector in AB direction, you need AB, which is B minus A which is equal to negative 0.707 in the i plus 0.707 in the j plus 1 in the k. The magnitude of AB is found by doing the square root of the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So when you plug in the three numbers in this vector into this formula, you get that the magnitude is equal to 1.414 approximately. So the univector AB is found by dividing the vector AB by its magnitude and it comes out to be minus 0.5i plus 0.5 in the j plus 0.707 in the k. But you also know that the force AB or the tension AB is equal to the magnitude of AB times the univector in the AB direction, which means that multiplying this univector by FAB will give you the Cartesian vector form of that vector, which is negative 0.5 AB in the I plus 0.5 AB 
in the J plus 0.707 AB in the K. So back to here, some of the forces in the X is equal to zero. So in the X we have this force, which is given by, which is given by um, AC sine of 45 degrees minus the X component of AB, which is this little arrow right here aiming straight back in the X. That's why it's minus. So it's minus 0.5 AB, which we got from this vector right here. And that is equal to zero. So in conclusion, you solve for AC and you get that AC is equal to 0 0.707 AB. And last, you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is also equal to zero, but as you can see, AC has no component in the Y, so you got this component and this component of AB. So some of the forces in the Y are equal to AB in the negative Y direction, so minus AD cosine of 45 plus 0.5 AB, which we got from here. And that is equal to zero. So you know that AD is equal to 0 0.707 AB. Now, if you look at this equation, you, and this equation, you can conclude that AC is equal to AD, they're the same. So if AC and AD are the same, then you can plug in these values into this equation. Let me open a new page, turn the page, and when you do, you get that 0.707. AB plus 1.414 AD is equal to 800, which means that 0 0.707 AB plus AD is equal to 800, which means that AB is equal to 468.7. And if you plug that into the other formulas, this one and this one, you can find AC and AD. And AD, which is equal to AC, comes out to be 331.3 pounds. So those are, those are the three tensions developed in each chain for equilibrium. Final answer, final answer. And this one's also in pounds. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.